Do you know when you're difficult to be around? This is important because having that level of self-awareness will help your relationships tremendously because so few people seem to have that level of self-awareness. It's really useful when you know when you're in a not so great mood, when you're being a bit irritable or just straight up difficult to be around because then the right thing for you to do is to acknowledge that maybe even with the other people and then politely excuse yourself so you can take some time to get into a better mood. And that's okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being difficult to be around from time to time. That'll happen to all of us. That happens with me. I get into moods from time to time where I don't want to even talk. Like literally, I won't want to talk to people. So when I'm in those moods, if other people greet me or just try to engage in conversation with me, I just, I won't want to talk to them. So I'll usually just use really short responses and that sort of thing. But I know when I get in those moods and when I do, I usually try to excuse myself and like go into my room and just relax, play video games, read a book or meditate, just do something to get into a better mood. It doesn't happen all the time. And I'm sure that's the case for you as well. But we are going to have those moments where we just are a bit difficult to be around. So the important thing is to notice when you're in those moods because yeah, don't beat yourself up for having those moods. All of us will experience that. Just make sure that you don't punish other people when you're feeling that way. Meaning when you feel difficult to be around, don't continue to engage with other people. That usually isn't the right thing to do just because, I mean, if you're not in a great mood, you could potentially say something that hurts someone else, or you could be a bit passive aggressive or just, yeah, difficult to be around. So quite often the right thing to do is just to either not engage all that much, try to be on the outside of, or the, not really the outside, but just more so not be at the forefront of the conversation you may be having with other people, or just find ways to politely excuse yourself, tell them, hey, you know, you're in a not so great mood due to maybe your job or some other things, or maybe you're just trying to figure some things out and just politely excuse yourself and say, hey, look, I need a, a five minute breather and then go outside for a bit and just breathe in the fresh air and try to meditate for a bit. Just do something other than not acknowledging it and making other people have a not so great experience with you because you're in a not so great mood. So that's the important thing here, guys. Just have the level of self-awareness to know when you get into these moods because it happens to everyone. You just don't want to make, you don't want to basically make other people have to put up with you <laughs> when you're feeling that way, or at least you don't want to get into a situation where you blame other people for the way you're treating them. Because I've seen that happen so often where someone's in a bad mood, so they treat their company or the company they're in, the people they're with, they treat them not so great. And then they wonder after the fact why everybody was being a bit standoffish towards them or just giving them weird looks or not having a good time with them. And the answer is because you were in a bad mood, you were you were being difficult to be around, so they didn't want to be around you, but you continue to engage with them and say rude things or be passive aggressive. So now they don't want to talk to you. <laughs> it's like, I don't get why so many people don't have the level of self-awareness to realize that, but oh well, self-awareness isn't taught in school and it probably should be. So yeah, a lot of people lack that level of self-awareness, but the important thing is, we can't change everyone, so that's not my goal, but hopefully if you're watching this video, you will work on your self-awareness enough to get to that point where you know if you're in a not so great mood, that's probably going to affect the way that you interact with other people. So that means as much as possible, just try to keep your interactions short or just let people be aware that, hey, you're not feeling all that great and apologize in advance if that means that you're not gonna be as fun to be around as normal and tell them, hey, you know, this is temporary. I'll get through this mood and later on, you know, I'll be a lot of fun to, to hang out with you. So just whatever it may be. I mean, I've literally had friends reach out to me wanting to hang out. And if I'm not in a good mood, I tell them that I say, hey, look, you know, I would love to meet up with you, but I'm just currently not in a, a great mood. So if we were to meet up, it probably wouldn't be all that fun. So let's just get a rain check and meet up some other time and just do that so that way you can help your relationships stay strong and you never end up in that place where you blame other people for reacting poorly to you because you're in a not so great mood. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. So <clears throat> as much as possible, 
make sure you practice self-awareness so you can know that if you're in a not so great mood, it's going to impact the people you interact with. So just be aware of that. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe or follow for more of it. Otherwise, the easiest way you can help me out is just to like the video. I mean, it takes no effort whatsoever. Leave a comment with your thoughts on this and let me know if you have this level of self-awareness or let me know if you've encountered a lot of people who lack that level of self-awareness and if that's created any interesting stories because of it. Otherwise, share the video if you think it'd be helpful to others and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!